Hey guys, we're taking a departure from our unboxing videos today and we're going to do an unbagging video from our previous uh, extras at the end of one of our unboxings. You probably realize how much we like Pat Rothfuss and his King Killer Chronicles. And we're going to show you the unbagging of related uh, stuff made by Albino Dragon related to the King Killer Chronicles. And you may not watch us and have no idea what we're talking about for our other videos, and that's okay too. And so, without further ado... Scissors. So Albino Dragon is a company that makes mainly themed playing cards. They've done uh, Ch Cthulhu decks, they've got a Princess Bride deck that is still sort of in process. And what we've got here are Name of the Wind playing cards. So there were three limited edition decks which would have the limited edition sticker, card of the seal, and one regular edition. There were also there was also okay so this is Albino Dragon which is the company that produced the cards so they've got other kinds Man Machine Dragon Whisperer and there's the Princess Bride deck that's coming out soon there is a signed Pat Rothfuss book plate we've got dealer chips here which are all interesting and all actually even better they're what they're they're called are card covers so that when you're playing uh, poker and you want to put this on top of your hand to show that you're not folded but you're just sort of deciding what you want to do you put this on top to say that you're still in play so there were three of them this is the Tinkers card cover ah. nothing happened nothing to see move right along where does the moon go when it is no longer in our sky plus be wary of folly. Be wary of folly. And the albino dragon oh, symbol the in the back. King of Hearts. Oh, right. King of Hearts. Pat Rothfuss as the King of Hearts. So shall we open the deck? Magnet. Please do. And then we can enjoy some of the fine artwork by Shane Tyree. So this is the unlimited regular edition. Oh, I see now that there was actually the way that you were supposed to open the deck, but oh well. Oh. All right, so for the astute among you, you'll see, take a look at the picture of jo the Joker. This is Ori from the story, and the model for this was Felicia Day. She lent her likeness to the image for the Joker. I think that might be like... Oh, that's Neil Gaiman. As He's the other Joker. Rodin. Yep, that's Neil Gaiman's. Or Aladdin. I'd, the pronunciations elude me. Very cool. Be wary of folly. And then there's the sword. Um, Taylor's wheel. Cards with the different things in the corners. That's a sword. That one looks like a pack or a lantern. I think they were supposed to see something special for Candle. the face cards. Books in the corner, there's the three gray stones, ink and quill and parchment. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there we go, so this is a jack. I don't know what this is. I wonder if that's supposed to be Denna. Potentially, but that's not Kvothe then. Mm -hmm. Wrong color hair. Um, Queen of Spades. I don't know. King, that's oh, Kvothe. Oh, and there's two different versions of them. If you flip them over... Smiling and not smiling. Cool. Music is a fine thing, but metal lasts. Oh, that's the, um... That's the quote from... The Fisher. Kilvin. And the Never Burning Lamp, also. Right. Ever-burning lamps? Oh, it looks like diamonds are all the ever-burning lamps. So, I... Th yeah, books, gray stones, um, I don't know what that is. 
pen and um, ink and quill and parchment. It looks like the corners are the same. Oh, no, loot. We haven't seen that one. It looks like the corners... Or maybe for each number, it's the same okay. across the suits. Sword. Uh, don't know what that is. Um, this one's a jack. Oh, that's is that supposed to be Ambrose? Probably. Jack of diamonds. Ever burning lamps and Fila M Mola. I don't know. The one that lent him money. Devi. Is that Devi? I think so. Oh, okay. It's oh yeah, Devi. Ah. Kelvin. Okay. He's... At the fishery. Yeah, with those ever burning lamps. And... I don't know who this is. This looks like it's a person with a loot. And the other side is the same person, but a slightly different version of it, just different coloring. And cool. also different expression. This one, his mouth is open, on the bottom one it isn't. This is... Oh, so maybe it's a couple of performers that... No, it doesn't look like it's in the Aeolian. Interesting. Oh, Chandrian! Oh! Oh! Because there's blue fire, right? Right. Um, this one is like magic and there's there's definitely fire. I think some of these are Chandrian. And, oh, per possibly even performers, too. That's the backgrounds. The backgrounds are tense. I thought they were like crystals or something. Oh. Is these that, are performers. Could that be his mom and dad? That could be oh. his mom and dad. Because, look, the jack of clubs looks like it could be Kvothe. Um, or just one of the other performers. Oh, look at the hair. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, this these ones are all loots. Yep. You've seen that symbol. So that would make ah! sense. That would make sense that it was... Cards. Cards. That would make sense. Loot. Loot. Eight. Seven. The things in the corners are all ones we've seen before. Yeah. But that would make sense because if clubs are loots, then who better than the... The Adima Ra. Right, yeah. Um, like a dying dream. And then we've got K. Those are pipes. Oh, that is Eoli. So that's the bartender. Stanchion and Diok. So that's Diok, probably. No, wait. Yeah. I don't know which is which. So this is Eolian, where um, music pays silver and plays golden, something like that. Um, you are the expert. I don't know who this is. Simon, probably. Yeah. Um, this might actually be like Fila or Mala or one of those. Mm -hmm. So there's the pipes. pipes. The talent pipes. Right. There's a loot in the corner of this one. I like that. Pride pays silver and plays gold, and it's pride. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I was corrected in the video anyways. Talent pipes. Yeah. And he, I don't know who that would be. Well, anyways, I've made a mess of the cards. That's okay. So, there we go. Was there anything else in here? Oh, that was it. That's kind of awesome, though. Uh, yeah. So, the limited decks are the same or different? Why don't you crack one open and take a look? Oh, okay. We have to break the sticker on this one. Because I, I know for sure the backing is different. Oh, we should, the backing is, oh, that's a nice backing, the lutes and the talent pipes and books and candles. And the ever-burning lamp in the very center, it looks like, or something similar. Where's the place you open this? You know what, I know there's a way that you're supposed to open it, but I'm just going to open it the, like, random picking at things way until it falls apart, because that seems... Faster. So that's the limited edition. Um, the seal? Seal. Should I just rip it or should we like cut it? So we cut it. Either way is fine. Oh, and I forgot, we forgot to do. These are the poker chips that were done for the name of the wind. So there's a f one set. They're actually clay, they're nice heavy weight, like professional chips. Telu, we love Telu.
Um, damn it, Someone's the parents have been singing entirely the wrong sort of songs. Oh, is the candle the Chandrian? Yeah. I guess because fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Talent pipes. Uh, Pride pays silver and plays gold. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't damaging the box. There was, I realized that it's, there's an indent there. I thought I yep. was. Okay, well, I'm just damaging the, the limited edition sticker. I guess it's not too bad. Since we're opening it anyways. Yeah. For the greater good. The Amir Amra, I don't, I, I don't know. Pronunciations. We were court performers. Lord Greyfellow's men. These are some very nice chips. Oh, it looks like the limited edition has different colored backs. Okay. So, yeah, definitely green colored backs instead. So, there's that quote. I don't know. Okay. That's the same as on the book plate? It's the same as on the book plate, and it was also on the other deck. Um, the Jokers are the same. Yep. Um, be wary of folly. It looks like this is a normal deck except for the back cover co color difference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, we've seen all these, so... Um, yeah, now that I think about that, probably... Uh, yeah. That uh, it, it probably is just the back. Yeah, the limited edition deck looks like it's just the back. Yep. Beautiful cards, though. So they're really nicely made. They're, they've got the, the plastic coated, but they're thick enough so that they have a little bit of the texture. So they're substantial, not the thin kind of plastic ones you get at the dollar store. So really nice cards. So if you like this kind of stuff, you should probably check out Albino Dragon's website. And they have these decks for sale now. A little bit more expensive than when they were a part of the Kickstarter, but still, uh, you know, the fact that you can even get them now is cool. And the other projects, like I mentioned, like we mentioned earlier, the Princess Bride deck. They've had the Chulu deck. And, uh, yeah. Check them out. Kickstarter. Albino Dragon. Thanks for watching.